On Nationwide this evening, the successful singer-songwriter who brings her knowledge of music to schools around the country and also the Wexford woman who uses singing for good health and to inspire confidence in all. Well, we all know that life is full of ups and downs and there are times when we just need something to lift our spirits. And there's a woman in Wexford who fought her way back to happiness and now she's sharing the joy of that happiness with people all over her county through singing. She's got a business called Singing with Confidence and Mary Fanning went to see her and to find out more. Nereida leads her confidence with singing group at Wexford Art Centre and they're a happy bunch as they sing for fun with a purpose. Aideen came back to her native New Ross when her dreams of success as a singer in London didn't work out. She was in a bad way, had a variety of jobs, couldn't settle, struggled with shift work, lost weight and was very, very unhappy. I fell apart completely before I came home and I waited and waited and waited and tried not to come home and I begged for help. I, my dad even gave me money to help me to stay but um, it ended up that I started to, to, my relationships weren't good over there then. I wasn't really thinking it all that clearly and um, I ended up in a part-time job. I wasn't really able to survive on the part-time job and eventually my dad flew over to London unexpectedly with letters from the rest of my family saying, please come home, Aideen, because we're worried about you. So she forward, found her way back through her first choice. love in life, music. Um, Having a primary degree in psychology mm -hmm. and a second qualification in mm -hmm. music, she decided to put her talents to use, in, to help others, not to just sing, but to regain confidence mm -hmm. and confidence to perform Good. in public. So I get a group of people, varying levels of ability. Some may have never sang before, and they work on one piece of music that, that they want to express to the world. So a piece of music that means something to them. A lot of people bring very sad songs, but I think that that's actually part of their journey, to actually let go of some of the past and then to move into kind of a happier time. Almost heaven. She started small going out to rural areas built up her profile through Facebook and word of mouth, held one-to-one -one sessions in her house. Then she collaborated with Declan Cosgrove on piano, gathered her pupils together for sessions in venues like Murphy's Barn outside Wexford Town. There's a sociality with this group who have come together for all sorts of reasons, but all of them are searching for something and the confidence in singing seems to have given them answers with Aideen's holistic approach to her craft. I don't see singing as, a, as just the sound. To me it's more about the, the feeling that comes through that sound. And that comes from the heart of each person and that's something that can only come out when you accept where you are right now. And some people come to me and they're not in a good place and or they're struggling with expressing themselves or they've had something in their past that they have not gotten over. And the bit of encouragement and the bit of kind of me just being able to listen to them where they're at to that moment allows them to progress and suddenly they're making friends through the groups that I have, they're you know enjoying themselves and the social side of it is very important as well and their confidence levels just come up gradually, gently. Behind each singer is a story. Anne Porter's husband died and she was thrown into crisis. After a very hard time, she joined the Singing with Confidence group. So I met Aideen and Declan and uh, enrolled on Aideen's one day course and loved it. <coughs> so I decided to do her, her course. So it's brought so much happiness to my life.
Janet Whitney has become quite an accomplished singer, but it also did a lot for her personally. It made me more confident. And also you find that when you start to sing, when you open your mouth, you open your heart. And when you open your heart, you connect with other people. And there's just something joyful, really joyful about that. So I've, I've done that. I think all Irish people like to connect in that way with other people. For who knows where the time goes? Ellie Macbeth is an Italian artist where living in Ireland for 14 years. She underwent very serious throat surgery and was told her voice might never come back. She sought out aiding. When I went out of the surgery, I had no voice basically anymore. And uh, so the, the basic thing for me was to be sure that I could uh, uh, make exercise uh, technically. But also, I have been a person playing, uh, singing music all life uh, for me. And I found it. Uh, um, really important for my health like uh, I think that uh, is like um, a part of my person just to, to sing. The Confidence in Singing group performed a concert earlier this year and it was very well received. They all stood up and strutted their stuff but aside from the singing the friendships formed with their get-togethers were so important for them personally. We share our experience and uh, when we meet up in the forge every month for music sessions we we support each other and we give uh, you know each other feedback and we share our um, you know music um, taste and uh, you know it's, it's just fantastic. Declan Cosgrove has been an instrumental part of Aideen's getting singing with confidence up and running. He moved back to Ireland from Manchester full time three years ago and his thatch cottage has been the venue for many a session. He's passionate about bringing music back to the houses and could even be in danger of revitalising the dancing at the crossroads tradition. And it's wonderful to see the variety of music as well um, because again the different styles they all intermingle and the, the whole range and to, to actually see how people can go from thinking that they can't sing to actually being able to sing just in a matter of weeks is quite amazing. That mehel coming together through music and singing has been the turnaround for many of Aideen's pupils. It's now or never come hold me time I was diagnosed in 2014 with uh, uh, with cancer and uh, I had uh, four operations in eight months uh, so I had a lot of surgery and uh, uh, I, uh, I'm in remission now thankfully and uh, it um, this has meant a lot to me the, 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 the singing the confidence in singing because as well as the fun and the confidence it gave me it took my mind off my medical problems Confidence in singing has made a difference, brought people out of themselves, forged friendships, created communities of enjoyment, and Adi Nerida started on a journey of recovery and in doing so found a way to eventually find herself. I just, I always thought whatever I did that it would make sense someday. <laughs> so I've studied so many different things and it never made sense. And I'm sure my family were kind of scratching their head going, what's Aideen at now? Because I've done things like airline stewardess, I was, I worked in skincare, I worked in nutrition, as I, I did the gym work. And eventually coming back to music, I found my home again. When I was in my um, 20s, I did a show in here in St. Michael's Theatre in New Ross and I had one of the lead roles and I loved it. And 19 years later, I came back and did another show there uh, in a lead role and I realised I had come home again. Not just to my family, but home to what I love. Well, there you have them, a happy group of singers. And just to let you know that Aideen is hosting a secret singers concert for students in the Wexford Arts Festival on Saturday, the 18th of November.